And we're out in the perfect weather going to Tucson right now it is currently Thursday at 5 50 and I finished work at 5 so we're gonna go we're gonna try and sell our truck our food truck that failed but at least we tried it so so yes we're gonna go to Tucson for that and then it's Richard's um mom's birthday so that's why we're going as well so yeah we'll see you halfway bye guys Tires good? It's a badass Mustang, you guys. Look at it. Alright guys, so we're here in Tucson now. Um, Richard is about to turn the truck on. And yeah, so I'm going to show you the inside of the truck. It is very windy and cold and very bright. But yeah, let me show you the truck. All right, guys, so this is the truck. I'm just like dusting it off right now just because it is really dusty. But this is what we did, me and Richard, like about three years ago. We bought this truck. We assembled everything. But unfortunately, just life. 2020 came in and kind of yeah stopped the plans but at least we kind of tried it you know we gave it a go a solid go but unfortunately you just we just couldn't finish it so yeah we're gonna sell it right now we're gonna well try to sell it i should say but yeah this window wasn't here when um when we got the truck we put it in so yeah, that's how it looks and then it has that bench right there but it's really cool that we tried at least it's like really dusty really really dusty you guys okay but yes i am gonna miss this truck i feel like we gave it a go and gave it a try but we failed but that's okay because it didn't stop us we just we're gonna continue but just not with this truck, you know? But yeah, all right, I gotta clean. <laughs> all right guys, so we're here at the truck and I just finished cleaning it. I just dusted off a little bit so it can kind of look a little bit clean, but it was just really dusty, that's all. It wasn't like bad or anything, but Richard is just hooking up the battery. That way we can turn the truck on. That way they can see that the engine is pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is our truck. You guys, this, we tried, you know, something, um, it failed, but that's okay. You know, we learned some really good lessons out of it, but yeah, it's time to part ways with it and move on and go to the next chapter. So fingers crossed. Alright guys, so it's never easy for us. The battery did not work, so we had to go quickly and buy a new one. Um, obviously people want to come and see how the truck turns on, but it's never easy. Never easy, but just don't give up. The guy at the place that we went to get the battery from, super nice. He deducted like $20 off the battery, so thank you. Thank you, young gentleman. Alright, let's go. Alright hey guys, so I thought I'd give you an update. So nothing's working. Like, nothing. Alright guys, so I just wanted to give everyone an update. We cannot turn the truck on, but we have put petrol and a new battery. So, um, we've had a mechanic come and he's like, look, it's just pretty much petrol. But because the truck is so big, 
it needs so much more petrol than what we're putting but you know it is what it is so yeah all right i'll be back bye okay <laughs> so richard went to go get more petrol because we're like you know what it sounds like it wants to start but i honestly think that it needs a little bit more this is just so difficult you guys you know like we really tried so hard to to get this baby fucking starting and it's just so annoying that it's just not starting <laughs> like the one day that we need it to start it's not starting at all so it's just so it's so like you feel so defeated but you have to like just keep going you know you can't just give up <sighs> even though i want to so bad and just It's annoying you know it's annoying um but yeah this truck is our baby you know we tried we give gave it a go and a fair chance and yeah it's just so annoying like it just doesn't want to start at all like just just hear it right and i'll show you And the guy like without even knowing the truck or anything he's like yep he's like the petrol it's too dry it's too dry so that's why the the truck's not starting it's just too dry it needs to be more petrol but had people coming to see the truck and we can't even get it started so i don't know you guys just it's, it feels really like defeat it you know <sighs> all right bye updated uh news we sold the truck holy shit balls we just sold the truck you guys we're just at the bank right now um but yeah we sold it we finally did we found a serious buyer that actually knew a lot about like mechanics so when he heard the engine he even took a look at the engine he I mean he was like this is immaculate like i'm definitely never gonna see one like this so he ended up making a really good offer we sold it uh and now we're just at the bank so how this day has come about it's just like emotions you know like a roller coaster of emotions i honestly was very defeated so was richard just because Every time that we did come, you know, the truck would turn on perfectly fine. And of course, the day that we want to sell it, just didn't want to turn on. Just didn't want to do it. And, you know, I feel like times like this, I just want to, like, give up and be like, I'm done with it. Like, whatever. I don't know. Something just told us to just wait, be patient, and, you know, just mainly be patient <laughs> we were telling each other that first of all but yeah it's uh it's out of our hands now the guy's gonna pick it up tomorrow um but it's done it's done and that is the main goal and i smell like straight up petrol <laughs> legit petrol and i hate it i hate it i hate the smell of petrol like petroleum i can't stand it Ugh. gross but yeah you guys just been a roller coaster of emotions and i'm done <laughs> i'm done for today just want to go home have a shower get all the smelly and dust out of me and just sleep because we forgot our blankets completely <laughs> So we got home, we got to Richard's mom's home at like 3 a.m. in the morning and it was freezing and we forgot our blankets, pillows. So we used our hoodies as like blankets and we were tossing and turning. We had to wake up super early and we're just tired. We're just like physically, mentally exhausted. So but yeah that is the update you guys but 
I'm just done with this day and I'm good I'm good I'm just gonna go home shower hang out with Ozzy with Richard and eat something we have not eaten nothing this whole day we have not eaten since last night we had subway so i haven't even had water i'm probably dehydrated because i'm getting a headache and just dealing with all the like petrol fumes and stuff pretty sure it's not so good so i'll see you guys when we get to rich's mom mom's house Bye. hey guys so now we are finally settled and relaxed I had to shower because I was so sticky icky I was so dusty so was Richard um, hi mr. cray baby uh, we are gonna go to the mall a little bit later but but yes we'll keep you updated you guys in the meantime Let's uh, take care of this little crybaby. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Oh, and we gotta get blankets because we didn't. We, yeah. We were freezing our asses off last night. Alright, right, So we are walking to the Apple store. It's really pretty here. So calming. Hmm? Looks good. There ain't nothing there. Alright guys, so we just got food from El Nene. We are so hungry. I got myself a caramelo that looks like this. And then Richard got the same, but he got a Sonoran hot dog. And then we got um, like cucumbers and warm dog, so it's delicious. So what I do is I grab the cucumber and I literally Dip it. You said the cucumber. Oh, uh, the avocado. <laughs> I was still eating the cucumber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the money bite. Mm, that is the money bite. Richard, let me show you this in our hot dog. We cannot find this in Las Vegas. So every time we do come to Tucson, we always get a Lene. And then tomorrow we're getting ourselves a big chunky EGs. Mm. So I cannot wait. This is so good, you guys. I will be right back. Just gonna stop my face in. Alright you guys, so we are in the room. I want to show you what Richard got me. He surprised me and I mean I kind of knew it was coming but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Alright, so backstory. My laptop completely just gave out on me. Didn't want to work anymore. It's too old. It's a 10 year old computer now. It's a MacBook. Um, so it gave me, you know, gave me a good enough time but I think I was definitely um, running on time so <laughs> it finally conked out of me I was completely devastated I ended up going to the shower and had a mini breakdown because I knew that I wasn't going to be putting any more videos up anytime soon I had to save up for a laptop and if you know MacBooks and stuff they're not cheap at all so but he got me a Mac, a MacBook Air. <laughs> Look guys, he got me one today. Like he was like, let's go, like stuff it, let's go. So what we did is we ended up going to the Mac store. They did not have it in stock. And we, like he said that he looked it up during the day and that's why he was like, let's just go, whatnot. And when we got there, she was like, yeah, there's like none anymore. And he was like, great. And I was like, you know what, maybe it's a sign that, you know, we shouldn't get it. And he was like, no, don't say that. So he took me, right, get this. He took me to the place 
Best Buy where I got my first MacBook <laughs> 10 years ago. I like and he like the guy was so kind he went up he got it and everything and I finally got it so I'm gonna unbox it with you guys because I feel like more than ever I have something that I truly love I love doing vlogs I love editing that is probably like the most fun like enjoyable moments I have when it comes to my YouTube is I love editing stuff I just that's I don't know it's like a calming soothing thing but yes he got me my laptop <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you what I got at Target I got myself a pop socket it was like five dollars so I got that and then I got this one is the USB-C to CS2 SD card reader so I got that one and this was 39 let me see let me just check Yep, $39.99, so because the newer Macs don't have that, so you have to buy it. Alright guys, so here it is, and there's Ozzy, but let's go for it. Sorry if the lighting is not so good. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel like I did it. It's coming, it's coming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys, there she is. Nice, tiny, and fucking beautiful. <gasps> Holy shit. Alright guys, so I'm gonna just leave it at here right now. I'm gonna set it up and everything, but <sighs> I am just over the moon. If I'm gonna sit down and tell you the kind of week, the, t the last two weeks I've had, I am just so grateful for Richard. I, I did not expect this this soon and I'm just over the moon, you guys. So I'll be right back. You guys, so we're at, well, I'm at my mother-in-law's house right now. <sighs> I'm tired, you guys. I am exhausted. But yeah, we are probably going to leave soon to back home. It was honestly the quickest thing, the quickest in and out kind of thing, you know, in and out. But There's all these like cats everywhere but yeah i cannot wait to be home you guys honestly i cannot oh, yeah, yeah. i still need to recover from my another lover would you be here for me never met your parents not even your mother but let's see where this leads what should we getting my case for my laptop I definitely felt a little naked with it so I don't want to damage it at all it is quite expensive so I want to protect it as much as I can um, I take care of my things like my old laptop is very taken care of there's like literally like the smallest dent on it but you can barely see it but yeah I got this one cost me $74 the most expensive case I've ever bought but um, yes, and now we're going to Best Buy. We're gonna get Richard, uh, a, like a controller. It's called the Razor Kishi. The what? Razor Kishi. The Razor Kishi, as he says. <laughs> um, so we can't get a hold of an Xbox for Richard. So we are gonna do the alternative, which is the Kishi, um, allows him to play Xbox on his phone. So we will show it to you guys when we get home. The weather is much better today. When we left Vegas, it was really, really windy. Today, 
in Tucson is actually nice and calm. Uh, but yes, let's go to Best Buy. Best Buy, we are trying to look for this thing for Richard's Xbox. So let's try and find it. Hey guys, so we just came back from Best Buy and Richard ended up getting his controls. So if you are looking for like an alternative uh, for now, if you cannot buy an Xbox, because Richard refuses to buy anything from a reseller. So <laughs> he's gonna wait for his Xbox. But in the meantime, uh, if you wanna play um, an Xbox or on the game, how would you explain that actually? So you can, it, you can basically, it's like a portable way of playing some of your Xbox games. There you go. Um, I'm pretty sure you just have to what, download the app or something? just connects connects to know, internet to, to your phone oh okay okay well he knows more <laughs> <laughs> but this is the control that you play with your phone so it's really cool uh, it was for $99 but we uh, used the Amazon pricing which came out to $79 and with tax it came out to like $86 so not bad and it's really cute it's small tiny so I can't wait to see how Richard plays with it but yes if you're looking for an alternative or if you're looking to give someone a nice gift and they're into like tech stuff uh, this would be probably the cool thing to get them so yeah off to EG's guys let's go okay we are at EG's right now and the flavor of the month is lime I'm guessing because of St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, that makes sense. So we're gonna get two limes and then two strawberry lemonades so we can take home. <laughs> so yeah, but next time when we come, we're gonna get a tub. A big one. I don't got no patience. Oh, Richard's opening his thing. <laughs> and now the line moves. <laughs> Frustration levels increasing. <laughs> this oh, there's another. Alrighty, we got our EGs, guys. So we got two uh, lucky lime for St. Patty's and then the strawberry and lemon. Delicious. We are taking the strawberry lemon with us to Vegas and we're eating the limes tonight. <laughs> 